Apologies if you can hear the fan in the background, then no way I'm having that not on while I do videos. But also, it wouldn't be a summer transfer window without Joff Windaff being linked with someone. Hello and welcome to this video. If you could like, share, and subscribe to the channel, I'd much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. Uh, but yeah, it wouldn't be a Sheffield Wednesday summer transfer window without Joff Windass being linked with a move away. Uh, this is the same who were possibly touted at looking at him in uh, January. It was Southampton. But Southampton has set their eyes on Joff Windass once again. And yeah, we're going to have to see what we can do here. Now, the thing is with Josh, he had just signed a year. Uh, he just had a year extension on his contract. So that helps us there. It's still kind of thing that help protect your assets. So if someone does come in for him, you look at it, you see what happens. Now, Josh has got a, uh, like I say, got a one year extension. So we can do, we can go from there. Now, Josh will be interested. He did 34 appearances last season, 11 goals and seven assists. And we all remember the goal that was crucial, which was that diving header to get us to the championship versus Barnsley. Now, again, like I said, it's every season we seem to have this whole situation with Josh. Josh is always one player that seems to always see, seem to have interest. Uh, was it last summer it was him looking at, or was it the summer before, where he was looking at Argentina? I can't remember. Uh, but you got to remember, they just got... They're about to unveil their new boss in Russell Martin. So he wants to get all his stuff sorted. He wants to get all his ducks in a row. Um, like, they're, they're starting to get their people they want sorted. And if this is someone that they want. And it will be interesting to see how we could sort that out. Because Martin is a former teammate of Windass at Rangers. Which... Maybe that's where a bit of the link up is coming from. They played together. Uh, the club had previously rejected the bid from Millwall and Athletic ta Tellers. Uh, so it was they think we we know what he's like uh, when it comes to getting people in for him. Now at twenty nine, he's starting to become one of the more senior players in the squad, and it will be interesting to see what Darren Moore does here because at the end of the day. We always, we always turn around and say, when you get a player at a certain age, it's time to cash in. But Josh is very valuable with what he brings to the table. Now, I don't know if that's me think, talking sentiment there and everything he's done since he's been here because he has been decent since he's been at the club. He can play a multiple position as attacking mid, central mid and shadow strike, uh, second striker. So... It would be interesting what the club do here. Would they be very strong in turning around and saying, hey, Josh, there's a big coming from Southampton. We want you to stay. We'll see what happens. Or could it be a case of uh, we don't want you to go. You're here. You're our player. And they're going to have to put big mon money down for it. It's going to be interesting how Wednesday play this this time. Because in the past, we've been like we need him for League One. It would be really struggling without him. We're in a position where we probably can spend a little bit more money. So maybe we are a bit brutal if we do let him go and we have someone lined up ready for him. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting case to see what happens there. But Josh Windath, possibly a target of uh, Southampton to lead the club. Let's see what happens. But it was an interesting one. Like I said, it wouldn't be... A Sheffield went this summer transfer window without a Josh Windass being targeted for a move. 